Hi everyone, it's Rel Klein and you're watching another review of Supernatural Season 1, Episode 9, Home. If you're new here, I'm doing a review, recap of every episode of Supernatural, so let's get into it. This episode was a lot <laughs> and I knew this episode was coming up and I actually think I've never rewatched this episode. But it's like, I don't know for sure, and it's hard to really know. So right from the start, Dean, not, not Dean, <laughs> Sam is starting to be a little bit psychic and talking about his, like, nightmares. And then he talked about how he saw Jess dying in his dreams, like, days before it happened, but he kind of ignored it, and he never brought that up before. And when he's been having nightmares, it's been of it happening, like, after it happened. So I think... That wasn't originally the plan and then they just kind of added that element in and I don't think it made sense but Sam being psychic I know kind of takes a big toll in the first couple of seasons but I thought it was really the second season maybe they explored a little bit at the end of season one but I honestly don't remember so I'm kind of surprised it's happening so early but this is like the first evidence of like Sam having some kind of psychic ability. I mean, the fact that he's just like, if something's wrong about that house, just like, kind of crazy. Also going off about like the family that's there, like I'm very like, this woman doesn't have a job. Like obviously she's getting a fresh start either from like her husband or maybe he died, just like something happened and they're just kind of getting away. But like, if she doesn't have a job, like how is she paying for this house? How is she paying for anything? They don't like get into logistics, but like I'm a logis logistical person and I'm bringing it up. So we meet Missouri, which Missouri is amazing. And obviously I forgot how amazing Missouri is because like, I think they're literally, she's only in one other episode, the entire series of Supernatural. And I don't know why they didn't use her more or showed her more. Uh, it was either her daughter or granddaughter or I, I forgot who, but she was supposed to be in Wayward Sisters and she was like in that episode, uh, which we'll get to in season 13, <laughs> whenever we get there. So I don't know if she was in that episode or if she was like, I feel like, was this her only episode? She had such a great impact. I don't know. She was amazing and I wish they used her more. We talked a little bit about like the monster of the week and obviously this was kind of a ghost. They were calling it poltergeist at one point. I don't know. I feel like that's a type of ghost and they really didn't get into those specifics. But also going with back to kind of what else you've been talking about is in the end it was kind of saving a woman, you know, and saving her family, but it really was like again saving a woman and that kind of idea so this one obviously hit closer home and it was called home and it's kind of interesting because last episode was bugs and they were talking a lot about their dad and so they were talking a lot about you know their family and their backstory here and i think that is important in season one to establish that and establish like what they've been through we kind of like kind of do that and you know coming back to their home made sense made sense in the writing room and obviously they can't like have it be like the third or four fourth episode they have to like wait a little bit but they can't have it too late in the season where it's kind of like things are moved on things are progressing like it, it I feel like it was perfectly placed in the season it made sense the mom being a ghost and everything like it just like like the idea like I wish they spent more time like figuring out the logistics of it because all this that part just didn't make sense and like especially whatever happens with her his, their mom later on in the seasons it just like doesn't make sense and then the fact that like Missouri was saying like there were no spirits beforehand so like why is the mom now there why was that spirit there I just like I don't know I just like was not following it we also see a scene where Dean calls his dad and he's like tearing up and this is like the first time we're like really seeing Dean emotional and it's um interesting to see obviously like because the thrust of the series, he's so dark and emotional that it's like something I'm used to. So it wasn't as shocking that I'm thinking it probably is your first time watching it. But I'm trying to be in the mindset of like someone who's watching the show for the first time. And it's like, it's surprising to see him in this way. Um, and he does it so well. And you can see like he does really care about things when he needs the care. And yeah, he sets up because he has a lot of more emotional scenes the rest of the series I mean I runs red after he goes to hell like he loses the spirit in him he's 
I feel like he kind of like loses that spirit after he goes to hell, like the, the positive and energy and everything about him. So obviously we didn't get too much into Sam's psychic ability, but it's kind of crazy. Like the last scene at the end is crazy because I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. I thought John Winchester, like when he comes back, is that vampire episode. I really thought was that was when he came back, but this is when he came back. This is like his first technically time back. So maybe like the first time he's back and he's talking to boys is the vampire episode. And maybe that's why I remember, but I totally forgot like, oh my God, he's there, he's there. And for those who don't know, like Jeffrey Dean Morgan played their dad, like in the pilot, obviously, but they were like worried that he didn't look old enough because obviously it's just like, what, 20 years later. And so they were trying to get someone else um, and it just didn't work out for schedule wise. So they were able to get Jeffrey Dean Morgan back and like, I think he looks okay enough to be their dad, like whatever. So it's just crazy and I totally forgot about it and just like crazy and it also like doesn't make sense like why he's like I can't I mean no the truth obviously it's about like what happened to the mom but it's just like I, I hate when characters are dumb and just like I can't I'm just being dramatic for no reason but I guess they have to be in the story because it really is a story about their brothers and having the dad being in play changes the dynamic this is kind of what you see for the rest of the show. You know, the dad being in the play changes the dynamic, so you can only live a few episodes if you have to do something. Same thing when the mom comes back, only a few episodes, oh, she's going off on her own, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with Cass. That's why Cass was like a push-pull from the entirety of the series because it, it changed the, the dynamic of the show, but like it's still great to have episodes and you see them in episodes and you still need other characters, but... Anyway, those are my thoughts and feelings about home. Comment below your thoughts and I'll do a video for the 10th episode of Supernatural. Thank you guys for watching and bye.